All right, Lauren, thank you. Our new on the four, preparing for the brutally cold temperatures on the way this weekend. It's dangerous for some of our most vulnerable neighbors. Temporary Ex Emergency Services in Tuscaloosa is checking on folks experiencing homelessness and the elderly. Brian Henry is live to explain how many folks in Tuscaloosa County could need their help. Brian. Well, Sarah, the head of Temporary Emergency Services here in Tuscaloosa estimates that around 10% of the total population here in the county is vulnerable. Now, we're talking about the homeless who often find themselves taking shelter somewhere outdoors, as well as the elderly who might have a place to stay, but not the money or the funds to keep the heat on. TES says it could use some donated winter coats, blankets, and water because you can, in fact, become dehydrated in the chill. Barbara Barnett knows all too well the struggle to keep warm. Barnett was homeless for several years before finding an apartment in Tuscaloosa. Well, believe it or not, people uh, don't realize how, um, how much, like it, just regular newspaper or cardboard, helps keep you warm. You know, uh, you, a lot of folks put uh, newspaper inside their clothes for uh, thermal kind of stuff to help out. So what our team is doing is they're going out and checking on, because we do have some individuals for various reasons, choose a different lifestyle than many of us would prefer that they have, but that is of their choice. But we want to make sure that in this type of weather, they are warm. Dr. Karen Thompson Jackson says local churches right now are making plans to uh, serve as warming stations, those plans are still being worked out before they publicize which churches will be participating. And Tuscaloosa Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.